we have studied uh, uh, Acts for several months. Yeah, thank God for blessing our Bible study. Today is the final chapter, chapter 28. Wow. Uh, um, next week, we'll have a holiday because next week, uh, Friday is the uh, Chuseok uh, <laughs> Thanksgiving <laughs> day in Korea. So, uh, yeah, one week of vacation, one week vacation. After that, we'll study uh, Ezra, Ezra. Ezra and Nehemiah, because Korea we have, uh, we have studying uh, uh, Ezra, Ezra and Nehemiah mm -hmm. in order to learn the Bible spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, today's title is Paul preaches the kingdom of God in Rome. Yeah. Uh, in chapter nineteen. Paul had a vision for evangelizing Rome when he served in uh, God's ministry in Ephesus. God uh, showed uh, the world mission vision. Uh, uh, Ephesus was called as a uh, Rome in Asia Minor, so uh, he could have a conviction that he can uh, go to Rome and preach the gospel because Rome is the capital of the world. So I will see Rome, he shouted, but there is no way, no possibility. Uh, however, God uh, showed him the vision and God uh, had led Paul uh, step by step. Yeah, We studied many chapters. He was charged by council members of Sanhedrin and governors. Yeah. And he, he was a prisoner, even though he was not charged. Yeah, he was a prisoner. And yeah, there was the big storm, hurricane, but God protected him and 276 uh, prisoners as well. And in this chapter, they arrived uh, at Rome. Wow. And how? Did Paul serve the world mission ministry in Rome? Yeah. There's no big church hall. There's no a lot of people. But one by one, he welcomed and he served them with the Bible study. We can learn because uh, it is the role model of our one-term ministry, house church ministry. So if we learn uh, precisely through this passage, I, I think that it will be very helpful for uh, serving campus ministry in uh, each country. Yeah. Okay. Question number one. Uh, Mr. Maria, would you answer question number one? Okay. So read verse one through 10. Where did the ship? shipwrecked party land so they um safely uh, landed the island called Malta mm. how were they received so the islanders showed us unusual kindness mm. so i think <laughs> god moved the, the islanders heart after mm. so many days of suffering mm. in the open sea I think, you know, just unusual kindness and, you know, warm heart were mm. ready, waiting mm. for them. So they are well welcomed and, uh, and, you know, lots of hospitality. Mm. They built a fire and they welcomed uh, all of them. Mm. Because it was raining and cold. Mm. Uh, how did God turn a potential tragedy into opportunity for ministry. Mm. So Paul and the our other companions were gathered around the fire, but mm. then uh, because of the heat, the viper came out and bite the uh, bit the paw. Mm. So everybody saw that, so they thought he's gonna 
thigh because it's mm. uh, you know it's it's really poisonous uh, viper. Mm. So they said that this man must be a murderer, but though he escaped from the sea, the God 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 is justice has not allowed him to live. Mm. But he Paul shook the snake off as if nothing happened and mm. he didn't get ill or anything. Mm. So they they thought, oh, this is a, this is a kind of a amazing, this is, you know, never happened before. So they thought mm. him as a god, one mm. of gods. So mm. and then the uh one of the official mm. of Lewis mm. invited uh Paul Mm. Uh, to his home mm. and then also showed a generous hospitality for three mm. days and mm. then his father was mm. but then Paul healed him after mm. prayer mm. after placed his hands on him mm. so everybody also you know knew about this of, of course probably was probably very high rank official there in the mm. island so many people came and uh, Paul healed them. Mm. So, um, uh, so they honored, verse 10 said, they honored us in many ways. And uh, they furnished us with the supplies supplies we needed. Mm. So mm. by uh, Paul's uh, healing mm. and not being killed by the snake, all those things uh -huh. they could see. Mm. Uh, really God is uh, working uh, mm -hmm. through him yeah. so yeah this tragic you know turned out to the actual blessing mm. okay. sorry mm. I have to answer so good yeah another comment about catch number one do you know the uh, island Malta Morta means honey. Uh, so I heard that many honeymoon couple go to Morta. <laughs> <laughs> and Morta is a very famous island uh, because of the summit conference between Gorbachev and uh, George Bush. Yeah. They had the uh, uh, conference. After that, Russia opened the gate. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a, a story. Uh, yeah. What do you think about the will of God that Paul and uh, many people um, went there? Mm -hmm. Their destination of Paul was Rome. However, they arrived there uh, for three months they stayed. Uh, do you have any uh, assumption about the uh, providence or will of God upon them? So, I, yeah, yeah. So, Go ahead. We can see, we can see in all things, mm. God is always there, okay? Mm. Even though man, mm. people, we have our own plan. Mm. We have our own plan, we arrange for everything. Mm. But at the end of the day, God will accomplish his will step by step. Mm. All we have to do is to trust in him. Mm. Whatever God's decision and plan is always the best because He's always He always have a great purpose for every single step mm. in our lives. Mm. So as people, it's very easy for us to be discouraged. We mm. become angry because if things will not happen according to our expectation and plan, it's mm. very easy for us to be affected mm. mentally, emotionally. But if we have faith in God's sovereignty, mm. like Joseph in Genesis, mm. we can always be peaceful and happy all the time because we respect and, mm. and believe in mm. God's divine providence. So, mm. of course, it's mm. not good to 
be shipwrecked. Mm. It's not good to be terrified in the sea mm. because of storms. Mm. But it was the will of God because it was the will of God because of the shipwreck. The the people, the two hundred seventy people, especially Paul, mm. had a chance mm. to go to Malta to preach the the new the 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 gospel of Jesus Christ, and mm. also God helped him. Mm. God used him to to actually pray so that people mm. can be can be healed mm. from men, all their diseases there. Mm. Uh, especially the the chief officials mm. father who had the uh, dysentery which is a severe diarrhea diarrhea mm. illness mm. and during that time apostle paul was with uh, aristarchus and dr luke mm. Mm. dr luke perhaps mm. doc, because the uh, luke is a doctor medical mm. doctor he mm. must have assisted, assisted Paul <laughs> in looking after many sick uh, people with diarrhea. Mm. With diarrhea <laughs> illness. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Any other comment about the will of God? Uh, about the Murta? Um, I think yeah. after uh, so long, uh, very <clears throat> uh, stressful mm. um, time um, in sh with a shipwreck, all those things. Mm. Now, in Melta, it was like a kind of a, <laughs> uh, some uh, rest. Uh, <laughs> rest. <laughs> very, very uh, unusual kindness welcomed mm. them, and yeah. they could all around the fire uh, place, mm. Mm. you know, and uh, people invited, and of course, you know, he healed and uh, ministered, mm. but it was uh, like also God gave them some restoration physically, mm. <laughs> and uh, some <laughs> rest uh, people, uh. his uh, ministry in mm. Rome. Mm. Uh, for three months, oh. it's a good period. Oh. That it was a totally different uh, uh, atmosphere. It oh. was cheap. It was like whether, you know, they couldn't eat for 40 mm. days. And, mm. You know, I mean, it's so all mm. kinds of uh, mentally and uh, uh, stressful. And, uh, but it's like, mm. uh, you know, love, peace and joy, mm. work of God, and some kinds of, you know, God is uh, um, restoring them mm. also physically and for next Wow, step. wow. good. Wow. God so loved mm. <laughs> the chosen people very delicately. Mm. Yeah. And so another always, comment? Yeah, okay. And not always have that kinds of stress, and but God gives <laughs> us also time of a <laughs> Yeah. Good. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I think also yeah. the Roman soldiers, including yeah. Commander yeah. Julius. Mm. So how uh, God is working mightily through Paul. Mm. They really experience the uh, power of God through Paul, mm. and they have, they had come to respect Paul, accept Paul as a man mm. of God, and mm. really respected him. So. When he got to the uh, the Rome, mm. probably they must have said very good thing about Paul to the mm. uh, prison guards or mm. uh, police guard, so he could win favor from mm. uh, the Roman soldiers mm. there mm. because of a good report, good report mm. from the soldiers who accompanied him on ship, mm. possibly. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's just the, like, uh, being a blessing. Mm. Uh, there are two kinds of people. Mm. Being a, like a source of uh, discouragement or disaster, mm. another person, source of blessing. Mm. So, uh, Apostle Paul, regardless of his situation, mm. 
it always uh, is a blessing to people uh, around mm. him. Mm. So it's so amazing that the one who is in the Lord mm. can be a blessing uh, to mm. other people, mm. regardless of their uh, situations and circumstances. Mm. Yeah, good. Thank you. Yeah, as you mentioned, Paul uh, arrived there, and he uh, gathered bush wood and he put it on the fire. I think that he wanted to make the prisoners warm because they were hungry and very cold. He was a good shepherd. However, there was the bifur, yeah, driven out of the heat and fastened uh, itself on his hand. So, wow, it's a big event uh, ha happening. So he could be killed by the poisonous viper. Uh, so, oh, that guy is a murderer. <laughs> but uh, Paul uh, was not afraid of the viper. He put it down and he did not die. So, they were changed. Oh, he's a uh, goddess. Oh. God revealed this glory through this event. Yeah. God revealed this glory in many ways. In the shipwreck uh, by the hurricane, yeah, Paul survived and he was very courageous. Through that, God revealed this glory. In the sea, in this land, God revealed this glory through this event. Uh, ordinarily, uh, yeah, the people uh, cannot but be killed by vipers if the biting, but he survived. Yeah, and another thing, Paul uh, laid a hand on the uh, yeah father of the leaders, uh, and he was healed. In two events, God revealed His glory through uh, surviving. Yeah, even from uh, eaten by, uh, mm, by uh, beaten by uh, viper and uh, Paul, uh, yeah, healed many the sick people. Yeah, God wanted to save the people in Malta. Uh, we think we are interested in Rome, final destination. Uh, However, God wanted to save all kinds of people. Uh, is there anyone who visited the Malta? I heard that there's the uh, Apostle Paul Memorial Church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of the people are Christians because of that event. Yeah. In the past, before this event, all the people might worship idols. But after this, yeah, the leader was healed by the help of Paul. So at the time, if the leader uh, have accepted the religion, all the people uh, uh, accept the religion. So because of this, uh, the island became uh, Christian uh, islands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We went to uh, Jungdo in Xinan uh, in um, uh, spring. Uh, uh, we had the step conference. Uh, Pastor Ron came, and there are so many islands. Uh, they worshipped uh, idols because of one. Uh, a prayer woman, Mun Jung Kyung, uh, she was a widow and uh, she worked very hard to preach the gospel. So most of the uh, islands, uh, they uh, have a Christ Christianity. There are so many buildings. The percentage of Christianity is the highest in Korea. So one man's influence is so important, so important. Yeah. So we can face uh, a lot of difficulties, but it is the opportunity for us to evangelize the people. If we keep our faith and if we help others, uh, it can be great uh, 
opportunity for uh, evangelizing. Yeah. We don't know what, what will happen, uh, but yeah, there is the uh, God's uh, will and providence. Yeah. Okay, question number two. Uh, yeah, Mr. Rebecca Kim, would you answer question number two? <clears throat> the question, uh, read verses 11 to 16, trace their journey from Malta to Rome. Um, so, um, okay, I just uh, wrote to make a short, mm. um, just uh, uh, they took Shibabu, Alexandria, and then went mm. to Syracuse, and then from there, uh, Pegium, mm. uh, and then from there, uh, Puteoli, and then Rome. Uh, yeah, so, uh, okay, I just want a short answer. Mm. Yeah, many places. <laughs> you just want to figure yeah. so uh, added that the, the people in Mexico was very kind yeah the way on kindly uh and you just kind of kindness showed so I think of God blessed and I mm. think the people there were very also uh, good hearted mm. and they uh, also believed uh, mm. when they saw things. And uh, so I blessed that mm. island, I think. It's yeah. when we have to uh, show the kindness and really good hearts. Mm. And uh, those are uh, more blessed God's blessing they can accept. Mm. Other than mm. kinds of uh, harsh mind or was mm. most mm. healthy or selfish, mm. selfish. I mean, just not just. Mm. Okay, but anyway, yeah, that's what uh, finally uh, through the many places and uh, they arrived in uh, Rome uh, mm. safely. Mm. Yeah. And many brothers and sisters came from Rome mm. uh, on the way uh, coming to Rome. Mm. They came to a uh, forum of mm. abuse, mm. Uh, which is uh, 43 miles away, mm. and three taverns, yeah. uh, 35 miles away. Mm. I think of, this uh, shows God wanted a Paul mm. uh, to enter Rome, mm. like a victorious uh, general, yeah. not uh, uh, great encouragement. Mm. I think he sent a message or a letter mm. uh, to let them know he's coming mm. while he's staying three months there. Mm. Yeah. How do you think uh, the brothers and sisters accepted the gospel already? Before Paul reached there, they are all already brothers and sisters, some Christians mm -hmm. in Rome. How mm -hmm. uh, could they uh, be introduced? The Christianity. We don't know exactly, but we can assume. Uh, you gathered to Jerusalem. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. What is that? Uh, mm. They heard uh, mm. about the gospel. Yeah. And, uh, but they were also expelled. Yeah. Mm. Expelled, but in between, mm. probably they were uh, that uh, 
uh, Emperor Claudius died and mm. they could come back mm. yeah. to Rome again. Mm. So yeah. They uh Christians mm. who uh were product of this event. Mm. Mm. Like Priscilla and Aquila. Yeah. yeah. According to chapter two, many diaspora uh Jewish people visit Jerusalem. And they experienced mm. uh, Pentecost. Mm. Yeah. And some of them, uh, they returned to Rome. They could keep their faith. And chapter 8, there was the great persecution mm. in Jerusalem. So many Christians could not but escape from the persecution. And they could go there. Yeah. And uh, Paul visited many uh, cities and preached the gospel. And some of the businesses, uh, businessmen uh, were introduced to Christianity and they went to Rome. You know, uh, Rome is the capital city at the time. So many business, businessmen come and go here and there. And they, yeah, mm, uh, had a, a community. And in Corinth, Paul wrote uh, Romans, uh, for the uh, yeah, believers in Rome, because Paul heard about that. There are some believers in Rome, but their faith was very weak. Uh, Paul uh, thought that they need to have a, a Bible structure, a foundation, firm foundation. So he wrote uh, three years before he came to Rome, he wrote uh, 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 epistle of Romans. Yeah. So, uh, by receiving the letter, uh, the Romans, uh, they could uh, have a uh, strong foundation on the gospel. Yeah. So, when they uh, heard about, heard of the news, Paul uh, uh, might come. They were, uh, <clears throat> they waited for Paul. Yeah. Wow. The original author of uh, Roman mm -hmm. epistle will come and they mm -hmm. <laughs> waited and welcomed Paul. Yeah. So they were very happy to see each other. Yeah. When we meet each other in ICBC, we, we are so happy and joyful. <laughs> like that when we meet our uh, missionaries we were so happy and joyful like that they uh, were so happy I think yeah. God is working uh, God is working for the world world mission Yeah, I heard that uh, Undood uh, and Apenjala uh, landed in Jemulpo in Incheon in 1889, but he was. They were surprised that some Korean people had the yeah uh, Mark's Gospel book, small book. Do you know why? Uh, Lee Su Jung, Lee Su Jung, he uh, lived in Jeonnam Okwa. He went to Japan, and he accepted the gospel through the American. Uh, missionaries, and he came back uh, with small gospel uh, book, Mark's gospel, and he translated, it, and it, mm -hmm. it was spread. And East Jung uh, met Undoed in Japan. At the time, mm -hmm. Undoed wanted to go to India, but uh, Mr. Lee invited Undoed to Korea. So Undoed changed his life direction. Mm -hmm. So Undoed came here, and already some Bible books were spread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God is working very strangely, very strangely. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, God uh, has been working very mightily with his uh, passion. So, yeah. we think that I have to pioneer the country, but God pre preserves yeah, uh, all things. Regardless of our effort, so if we have faith in God, uh, God 
uh, preserves many people and students. Uh, yeah. And uh, chapter uh, verse 16 um, says, when we got to Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with a soldier to guard him. Yeah. In order to guard Paul, uh, Roman soldiers uh, came. What is the effect of Paul? He stayed think, with Roman soldiers. Yeah, I I I, I think uh, that mm. is very that situation mm. was very important. Mm. Uh, even though uh, Paul was a prisoner, mm. from human point of view, he did not have a lot of freedom. But actually, mm. God still used that situation mm. so that He can use him preciously because these Roman soldiers. Mm. Yeah, they were always with Paul, and they work in ship. Yeah, they they work for about four hours, six hours, and there are many soldiers mm. who get to know Paul. And I believe uh, Paul became a shepherd to them. He mm. took the opportunity to uh, to tell Je about Jesus Christ mm. to these soldiers, mm. and I believe many sol many Roman uh, Roman soldiers became believers, became Christians. So yeah. that they, the, 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 the word of God also mm. reached the, the Roman guard, palace guard. Mm. And that's uh, the even though we are in a very difficult situation, mm. the word of God is not changed. If we have mm. faith in God, we can continue to preach the word of God. Mm. And um, when Paul was in house arrest in Rome, mm. Mm. actually he had quiet time mm. to meet, and, and he also had the opportunity to minister. To mm. those who visit him, his friends, other Christian, mm. and another thing is God used him preciously because it was in during his imprisonment in Rome when mm. he wrote many letters mm. to different uh, mm. co-workers like yeah. in Philippians, Corinthians, Ephesians, mm. Philemon. Mm. It was in the when he was in prison in Rome when mm. he had time to mm. write these letters to share his struggles and to plant mm. faith. Uh, mm. to his ship mm. all over in, in Europe and mm. all over the world. Mm. And from 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 the life of Paul, God encouraged me mm. not to, to have self-pity, mm. but actually I have to praise God mm. because there's always an opportunity mm. for me to be used by God even in the most difficult situation in my life. Mm. Good. Good comment. Yeah. Mm. It seems very fatalistic. Oh, uh, even though I came to Rome, I am chained. Yeah. However, uh, Paul uh, did not have a self pity, and he made use of this opportunity for preaching the gospel to soldiers. Soldiers, yeah. Philippians chapter one verse the thirteen says. As a result, it has become clear uh, throughout the whole uh, palace guard and to everyone else that I am in chains for Christ. Yeah. He preached the gospel to the uh, Roman soldiers. Yeah. At the time, Roman, the soldiers are very high class, high class. Uh, yeah. How could Paul meet Roman soldiers if he uh, go there as an immigrant? It was not easy, but by God's grace, he could meet the Roman soldiers. Yeah, native ship, native ship, <laughs> native ship. <laughs> and Paul stayed in the prison, but they changed the duty. So a day, three or four soldiers, alternatively, they came. And they could not go out. Mm -hmm. In order to keep guard Paul, they stayed there. So if uh, Paul uh, uh, talked to him, they had to listen to the <laughs> Paul's mm -hmm. message. <laughs> so every day Paul could have a one-time Bible study, three or four teams every day. 
<laughs> he did not go fishing. <laughs> it was God's will. Yeah. Huh? Among the uh, palace and yeah, whole uh, palace guards, yeah? wow, they listened. They, God's strategy, God's strategy, and God's scheme. Yeah. Uh, and uh, as Dr. Jacob mentioned, he wrote uh, uh, some uh, epistles, Colossians and Philemon's and Philippians, Ephesians. Wow. Uh, if Paul uh, traveled a lot, uh, he could not have uh, enough time to write uh, the kind of epistles. Yeah? Because he was imprisoned, he could not move. He wrote very heart-moving uh, uh, epistles, which is very effective uh, to edify Christianity and practical spiritual life and struggle. So we can we can remember the life of uh, uh, Ones Onesipus, you know, mm. Onesiporus, the, yeah, yeah. the slave. Mm. The slave of uh, Philemon, he was mm. imprisoned in Rome, and yeah. he became a sheep. Mm. Uh, and and uh, Paul was his Bible teacher, and mm. when he accepted Jesus, he was changed into a useful man, and yeah. he sent him back to mm. Philemon. Mm. And that's that's amazing uh, mm. work of God in mm. Paul's life. And, yeah. and I also remember the life of Joseph. In mm. Genesis, he was put mm. in prison, mm. but it was in prison when he met two sheep, mm. which are very influential from the from from <laughs> yeah. the from from Pharaoh. Yeah, and you know how how amazing our mm. God is. He's God mm. sovereign being, so we don't mm. have an excuse to be to mm. have a self pity, mm. but we have to open our spiritual eyes mm. to see God is good at all times. Good. Everything God works for the good mm. of those who love Him. Mm. Wow. God's uh, work is very amazing, amazing. Uh, beyond yeah. our uh, imagination. Yeah. And also, I can see the Paul's uh, inner attitude. Uh. He uh, gives thanks to God mm. and courage. Mm. Uh, so... Having thankful heart to mm. God, uh, mm. you know that it was God mm. who led him, mm. and also mm. uh, Christian brothers also mm. all those things. He gave thanks to God mm. and uh, to courage. Mm. Uh, so I think having courage, mm. uh, spiritual courage, mm. that is having another spiritual strength mm. to serve the Lord. So in the time of, you know, when uh, things are going mm. good, uh, we need to give thanks to God and mm. courage. Yeah. Amen. Good, good comment. Okay. Also, you see yeah. yeah. Um, like a, another example of a house church. Hmm. Um, this is a, a, a Pastor Paul's house church. <laughs> he, he didn't marry single. <laughs> mm. uh, yet he was forced to stay uh, mm. uh, in house arrest mm. and use this house arrest to minister mm. uh, God's work and uh, ministry. Mm. I know one of our missionaries, uh, mm. yesterday I met him. Mm. He said he did uh, five one to ones in the morning. Mm. In the morning. Uh, with, in the morning. Wow. Uh, with um, uh, Ru Rwanda uh, students online. Mm. Mm. So I was so <laughs> mm. <laughs> encouraged and uh, challenged. Mm. Mm. Also at this uh, time of uh, COVID, mm. um, it, it was like a uh, house arrest. Mm. <laughs> uh, yet, uh, many of our uh, co-workers found a way to mm. reach out to uh, people 
mm. uh, long distance, even long distance online, mm. Mm. Uh, enjoying fellowship with uh, co-workers, mm. doing one-to-one -one Bible studies online. Mm. So uh, maybe Apostle Paul's uh, house church ministry mm. uh, has become a, a model uh, mm. for those people who serve mm. uh, God's work and ministry, even in time of a COVID uh, mm. period. Amen. Wow. Across the uh, Atlantic Ocean, <laughs> they connected <laughs> with the native uh, ship. Uh, next month, October 20. Uh, 7th through 9th, there will be South uh, Sudan Conference. Dr. Oyo Moses, I heard about that. Padetang uh, sent a letter. Yeah, you will attend the conference? Yeah, yeah, I will attend. I mean, give it now. Uh, we are preparing for the conference. Mm. And I was surprised so I that uh, all the programs is the same, ICBC. All the messages, yeah. <laughs> same, <Yeah>. glory. <laughs> yeah. uh, because uh, du during, during the IC ICBC, they did not get a chance to attend uh, mm. uh, the, the conference. Mm. Uh, because the time, time difference, and uh, also mm. other issues, uh, internet mm. and such things. Mm. But because the, the topics really are very important and we need to be in mm. the same spiritual mm. environment with the worldwide. Mm. So we decide to study. Mm. Yeah. Now and, I'm, uh, yeah. okay. I'm taking care of uh, messengers. Yeah. Mm. Good. Um, Thank you. And all of the uh, testimonies uh, will be sent there and they will read instead of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, the no, life... this one will. How can you? Uh... Each one will write his own. Pawn. Yeah. How can, life how can you will... listen to their message? Life life yeah. Each one of them will write his own life testimony. Then they will read it. Oh. Yeah. yeah. By the voice, they can uh, share testimony. No, not not the, not people of the ICC will share. No, our mm. own people here. Oh, our own people will share their own life testimonies. Yeah, mm. your own life testimony. Good. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And also, message message also will be different. Will be but uh, the same topic, but they will write their own message. Mm. Oh, yeah. Good. And the same. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Anyway. Not typically. Mm. Not typically. Like, Mm. Anyway, I was very amazed that uh, they have their own conference. They they yes. could think, oh, uh, we cannot go there. Oh, oh my God. So they could be frustrated, disappointed. However, uh, they did not despair. Huh? Yeah. Uh, they, yeah, uh, they want to have uh, the conference with the same topic and same passage. Wow, I, I was so amazed by their uh, effort and yeah, uh, their struggling. We, we did the same in Egypt. Egypt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We did the same. Yeah. Mm. Good. Okay. Situation is not important. If we have faith in God, we can make yeah. use of all things, all things. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Today, before yesterday, I visited Anzong Center in Gyeonggi province. There are only three families. Uh, and uh, two families left. So there is only one family remain. So uh, how can I help them? Yeah. They... Uh, received some uh, life testimonies from other chapter and they uh, read the testimony instead of them. 
So I, when I heard about that, wow, I'm so compassionate on them. So I promised that, that uh, I will send our messengers. Huh? We have some messengers. So uh, please invite our uh, uh, intern shepherds who are lay shepherds for the messenger. I will uh, let them go there and help them. Yeah. How can we serve pioneering chapter, uh, small chapter? If we send testimony sharers or uh, music leaders, uh, uh, they can be great encouraged. Yeah. I was so moved that they did not give up. Oh, we don't have enough people, so let's keep some conference. They did not do. They uh, tried to do something. They struggled a lot to invite one or two sheep. And yeah, in helping uh, the testimony uh, sharers, uh, they uh, had a hard time in their, their way. <laughs> so, wow. Uh, what chapter name is it? Ansong, Ansong. Gyeonggi-do Ansong, Ansong. Yeah. Which chapter pioneer did they have? Jongno, Moody Kim, Moody Kim, Moody Park. Shepherd mm -hmm. Moody Park pioneered mm -hmm. and he retired. And mm -hmm. successor, Abraham Lim, mm -hmm. he yeah, succeeded. Uh, yeah. They came from Busan many years ago. So they wanted to serve the ministry, but it was not easy. Uh, they became uh, 50s. So uh, I met them. For, it's the first time for me to meet them personally. So I listened to their agony and I had the compassion of them. How can I help many local chapters? Yeah. There are some independent chapters. Uh, it's very hard to be independent financially and spiritually. So uh, I want to introduce and encourage many chapters to uh, send uh, uh, co-workers uh, to go there for helping. Then the messengers uh, can grow up if they help them. Uh, if they have two family, then with uh, leaders, family. Yeah, and then chapter family. leaders, family, and uh, another two families, but two families ran away. <laughs> oh, so the <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll attend that one Sunday there when we go. To yeah, school. please go there. Go there. <laughs> yeah. That's a good That's, idea. Yeah. So uh, if we find a way, uh, we can do any anything, something, something. Uh, it's a oh, like a mustard the seed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, question number three. Uh, okay. Uh, missionary face face joy. Would you answer question number three? Okay. Read verses seventeen to twenty. Um, how did Paul begin his ministry in Rome? Mm. So he, he in three days mm. he uh, called uh, he reached uh, local Jewish leaders. Mm. So Paul didn't after that long journey. Paul didn't rest even for a week, mm. but in, within three days he uh, called out. Um, mm. The Jewish leaders living in Rome, Rome mm. and uh, invited them to his uh, rented house, mm. and and he uh, talked about his case. Mm. I think th I think it's his custom to mm. always meet uh, either go to synagogue, Jewish mm. synagogue, to meet mm. Jews. Mm. Or uh, meet the Jews whenever he go to other new places. Mm. So as his custom, he again mm. uh, invited uh, these Jewish leaders who are living in Rome mm. 
Mm. And he tried to explain why he came to Rome. Mm. He clearly explained that uh, he is innocent. Mm. And he didn't do anything against the, the law, law of God. Mm. But uh, because of misunderstanding of the Jews, mm. he was falsely accused. Mm. But uh, uh, the Roman uh, leaders knew that he was not a criminal. He tried mm. to release him, but by God's guidance, he came mm. home. And he really defended himself. Mm. Uh, even though he was uh, in a prison house and uh, rented a house, uh, guarded by prison as a mm. prisoner. Mm. But he clearly uh, explained to them that he's innocent. He didn't mm. do anything criminal things or mm. uh, against the law. Mm. And um, uh, how did he explain his imprisonment to the Jews? Yeah, that's, that's the way he said. Mm. Uh, I certainly did not intend to bring any charge against, but he said, verse 19, the Jews objected, so I was compelled to make an appeal to Caesar. Mm. I certainly did not intend to bring any charge against my own people. So Paul, even though the Jewish people really falsely accused him, mm. tried to even uh, kill him, murder him, but Paul didn't have any um, ill feeling, hatred mm. for this uh, against his uh, brethren, brothers. So mm. he called them brothers and sisters, mm. and he uh, embraced them again mm. with the love of God. Mm. And in verse 20 he says, For this reason I have asked to see you and talk with you. It is because of the hope of Israel mm. that I am bound with this chain. Mm. So he clearly explained why he was in Rome mm. in chain. Mm. It's because of his hope, hope mm. of Israel, mm. which is uh, the Christ, the Messiah. Mm. Uh, for the uh, namesake of uh, Messiah, Jesus, mm. uh, hope of Israel. Mm. He came to Rome in chain. Mm. So he explained the, the reason mm. he why he was in prison. Mm. Yeah, thank you. Paul had the uh, uh, compassion on his uh, his people, Jewish people. Yeah, so he said. Brothers, my brothers, my brothers. Even though he was he had been persecuted by Jewish people. Uh, many times, but he accepted them, and he wanted to uh, uh, help them to accept gospel. Uh, what is the hope of Israel? Uh, in his statement, in uh, many chapters, we saw that word, the hope of Israel. Before uh, council members and before governors, before uh, Jewish people, Paul emphasized the hope of Israel. Oh, yeah. the, the the true hope of mm. the true hope of Israel is mm. Jesus Himself, our mm. Savior, mm. and His eternal kingdom. Mm. Because the the Jewish as mm. a nation, mm. they were longing that. The, the, they, they have hope, but their hope it was not true hope because mm. they still, their hope was to uh, to restore their, their, their the Israel kingdom, mm. political kingdom. That was mm. their hope. Mm. But the true hope, that was, that political kingdom is short term. Mm. It will not last forever. It's temporary. Mm. So the, the Bible is emphasizing the true hope of Israel mm. Mm. It is everlasting kingdom of God in heaven, and this is through Jesus Christ. Mm. Yeah, good. Mm. Isn't, and Jewish people, the, were, yeah. Very isn't the hope of Israel is related to the Abraham's calling? You know, when God called Abraham, you will be a blessing, and all nations will be blessed through you. Mm. So all nations actually will be blessed through Israel. Mm. Mm. Through, yeah. through Jesus Christ. Mm. So I can relate it to this one. Hope of Israel is the eventually the whole nation's salvation mm. through Jesus. Mm. Yeah. It's right. the kingdom of priests. Kingdom mm. of priests. Mm. Yeah. 
And the hope of Israel was fulfilled through uh, mm. Jesus' resurrection. Mm. Mm. Yeah. The hope of Israel is the same as the hope of the whole world. Mm. So the hope of Israel, the hope of the whole world is our Lord Jesus Christ, mm. who is the Messiah, mm. who uh, destroyed the power of death and who mm. rose from the dead. Mm. Uh, re resurrected Jesus is the hope of everyone, mm. including Israelites and Gentiles. Yeah. So the hope, yeah. Mm. Eventually, Jesus Christ Himself only mm. is mm. the uh, is our hope. Yeah. Many uh, uh, Asian uh, people came to Korea with the hope. Well, many Koreans went to America with the dream and hope. American dream, hope, mm -hmm. and now Korean dream and hope, they came to Korea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Some uh, Latin American people uh, went to America uh, in the big truck, big truck. Yeah. And when I went to LA after the ISBC, one uh, Latin shepherd uh, delivered the message on Friday. I heard that uh, he and his mom uh, walked to LA from Mexico. They walked. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> from Venezuela, but some people uh, walked in. Uh, went to America because of starvation, depression, uh, they walked. Huh? Yeah. Hope of America. Huh? Uh, hope of success. Yeah. We cannot live without hope, but the important thing is what kind of hope do we have? Rome is the capital city at the time. Many people want to go to Rome. For what? Uh, many people want to uh, go there for success. Uh, yeah, to make money for a business. But uh, how about Paul? Because of Jesus. In order to deliver uh, the message, uh, reason Jesus, uh, gospel message. What is the true hope? Eternal life, living hope. Uh, Paul did not know uh, Jesus uh, before, but he met reason Jesus. He got a strong hope. Real hope, living hope. So he could not but deliver and introduce, share the living hope to the people, anyone who met. Yeah. He went uh, to Rome in order to uh, deliver the hope of Israel, hope of all the people. Yeah. Many people are wondering uh, in the uh, addiction or depression because they don't have hope. Yeah. Hope is a very serious problem, I think. Especially young people are losing hope. Yeah. They are wondering here and there. Uh, that's why we, we should uh, uh, teach the Bible to the young people. Okay, question number four. Uh, okay, Mr. Monica, would you answer question number four? Yes, I read verses 21 through 23. What did the Jews of Rome know about Paul and about the Christian movement? They didn't receive any official letter from uh, uh, Jerusalem, I believe, but they. <clears throat> They knew that uh, every 
everybody was talking against this site. Mm. That's what they knew. And what opportunity did he have to, did he have to preach to them? So they wanted to hear about what this sect was about and what was his message. And when they met, his message was about the kingdom of God. Mm. And he persuaded uh, them from the law of Moses and from the prophets. Mm. Yeah. Another comment, uh, question number four. From morning to evening, he witnessed to them from morning to evening, explaining about the kingdom of God from the law of Moses and from the prophets. Yeah. The law of Moses and prophets are Old Testament. Uh, yeah. He explained uh, the gospel based on Old Testament. Uh, many Jewish people could not apply. What's the meaning of Old Testament? Uh, they interpreted the Old Testament uh, with their national viewpoint, national viewpoint, uh, because they did not know uh, Jesus. However, Paul met Jesus personally. He understood all things. Uh, Old Testament is the shadow of Jesus Christ. Through Jesus, all things are fulfilled already. So, uh, from early morning to night, he explained uh, yeah, God's promise has been fulfilled through Jesus. Please accept Jesus. Yeah. Very passionately, he explained and taught the Bible. Hmm. Missioner Pauline Moon, uh, she came to Korea and she uh, shared life testimony in, in the spring. Uh, in Jongno Center, she uh, had not enough time to have a meal because so many uh, Bible students. So Missionary Lung Moon could not be served by meal. So he uh, should cook by himself. <laughs> yeah. Whole day in 1980s, in 1990s, uh, most of uh, UBF shepherds endeavored in Winter Bible study to uh, explain the word of God to the young people. Uh, in writing my life testimony, I remember the 1980s and 1990s. It was the golden time, I think, yeah, to make dis making disciples and uh, sending missionaries. Yeah, we we didn't enough time to have a meal. Uh, <laughs> we we had to attend so many meetings from early morning to night. Uh, However, we were so happy at the time. We didn't have enough time to fall into sin. <laughs> yeah. Even though he was in prison, he was happy because he explained the word of God so diligently. So diligently. I think that he saw uh, some soldiers uh, were uh, changed by the gospel. So he was encouraged and he worked very hard. Yeah. If we have faith in God and broken shepherd heart, we can make use of many uh, opportunities. In our center, there are uh, three retired women. We think that after the retirement, they will uh, travel whole world, but Every day they come, they come to center and they decorate and they go to go fishing 
and they are very passionate in <laughs> inviting <laughs> a chef. So <laughs> we are very uh, encouraged, <laughs> yeah, and challenged. There are 62 or 63, uh, yeah, but uh, no problem. Age is not important. Yeah. Yeah. Now these 60s is young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the UN, I heard, I heard that uh, 60s are young people. Yeah. So in the in in Western countries like in Europe and America, because uh -huh. many people they reach one hundred years old, and because of that, the government made a law that the retirement age is increasing every now and then. Uh -huh. It used to be sixty two, then became sixty three, sixty five. So when I retired, the retirement age will be sixty seven. And then uh, after 10 years, it will be 70 because people yeah. live 100 years old and the government cannot support you for 40 years. So they will increase. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Let's move on. Question number five. Yeah. Mm. Dr. Lee, would you answer question number five? <laughs> what is the response of the Jews? Uh, initially, some convinced, others disbelieved. So, but when Paul uh, quoted uh, <clears throat> the yes, Isaiah, oh. Isaiah six, uh, I think. Uh, uh, they left. Mm. I think they rejected. Mm -hmm. Mm. So, uh, Paul's final spent to this, uh, statement to them. The mm. uh, uh, initial the their problem is uh, they listened. They mm. heard and they saw, but uh, they didn't respond. Mm. Instead, rejected. Mm. Uh, so, um, but, but, but Paul was not uh, discouraged. Mm. So Paul uh, viewed their rejection in verse 28. Mm. Uh, therefore, I want you to know that God's salvation has been sent to Gentiles. Mm. They will mm. miss us. Mm. So the Jews' rejection will be uh, the exempt of the Gentiles' salvation. Mm. Uh, this is God's will, and it mm. is fulfilled. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, according to verse 24, some were convinced by what he said, but others mm. would not believe. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I was comforted by this verse. Mm. Even uh, Paul delivered the message, some people did not accept the gospel. <laughs> <laughs> so we need not to be dis uh, discouraged. Mm. Yeah. Even Jesus preached the gospel, some did not accept and they persecuted him. So we never mind uh, about the response. Uh, our mission is to preach the gospel. Uh, yeah. And he was not frustrated at the response and he uh, turned the uh, direction. Oh, God's will is for Gentiles and I will go to Gentiles. Yeah. Romans chapter 11, uh, he acknowledged the will of God. Uh, if the Gentiles accept the gospel, the Jewish people will be jealous. Then they will come back. Whoa, how uh, uh, deep uh, God's will is. Uh, how can we 
search God's will. Yeah. And according to Second uh, Corinthians chapter two verse sixteen. Uh, to the one, we are an aroma that brings death. To the other, an aroma that brings life. Uh, yeah. We are aroma. Uh, it's aroma of life to those who accept the gospel. But we are aroma of death who did not accept the gospel. So, uh the important thing is we have to open our mouth and preach the gospel. Yeah. We should make the people that there are servants of God, regardless of their response. The mission of prophet is to acknowledge the people that there is the servant of God. Yeah. We can make a uh, warning to the evil people and we can uh, give the chance to those who are humble to accept the gospel. Yeah. So um, regardless of the response, we have to uh, preach the gospel in season, out of season. Yeah. Okay. Final question. Uh, Dr. Jacob, would you answer question number six? Yeah. So read verses 30 to 31. So I will read the verses first, 30 to 31. Mm -hmm. For two whole years, Paul stayed there in his own rented house and welcomed all who came to see him. Mm -hmm. He proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about Lord Jesus Christ with mm. all boldness and without hindrance. Mm. First question, describe Paul's continuing ministry in Rome. Uh, I already told earlier that he was uh, in his house. There was a house arrest. Mm. But even though he was chained physically, humanly, but the word of God was not chained mm. and he had freedom to continue to preach the gospel and mm. God used him preciously to uh, advance the gospel mm. in Rome and uh, throughout the world. Mm. So uh, second, uh, and, and, and he preached the word of God very boldly with mm. con convincing spirit. Mm. And the main point of his teaching was about the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. So he did not, he always had a very clear point, clear message, mm. because it is Jesus Christ. Mm. It, is, it is the way of salvation. Mm. Those uh, uh there's no other other uh better better message other than mm. preach Jesus because he's really the salvation. Because Romans 1 16 said for in the gospel, yeah. Mm. Uh, it is uh, Jesus Christ mm. who is the way of salvation. Mm. Second, uh, what was the main content of this preaching? I already uh, told you about that. It's mm. Jesus Christ at all mm. times. He came, he died on the cross for our sins, and mm. he rose again. And those who believe in him, they will be resurrected and they will live with him in his in eternal kingdom. Mm. What can we learn from Paul in Rome about God's way of working? Mm. So, it, it, it is God. Uh, what mm. can we learn from Paul in Rome about God's way of working? So, God's way of, of working is mysterious. Mm. It's beyond comprehension. Mm. But we are servants of God. All we have to do is to just obey God's mm. calling. Mm. And we have to be sensitive to God's leading mm. in our life. Mm. Yeah. So that's what uh, what I've learned mm. in uh, people's life. It, it, it's God is sovereign. Mm. So he will accomplish his, or his purpose through us. We just make ourselves available mm. 
in with humble obedience to, to follow. Because if we really follow the leading of the Holy Spirit, and then we will be peaceful and we will be fruitful. Mm. But even though we, we we do many, many things, mm. if the things that we are doing are not in line with God's will, mm. and uh, there is not much uh, fruit uh, when when we uh, follow that way. Yeah? Mm. And we can we can we can learn as well uh, Paul's great pioneering spirit. Mm. He did not give up, and he overcame all situations. Yeah, because of his faith mm. in Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah, the final uh, sentence: with all boldness and without hindrance. Yeah, the word of God uh, continued to spread without hindrance and continue to change lives for the glory of God. So the book of Acts really is the never-ending story. Uh, it is, uh, It has been continued through us. Yeah, We are writing uh, Acts chapter 29. Uh, we are uh, so blessed uh, in participate in uh, working of God through uh, Bible study, wherever we we stay, yeah. Doctor Oyo Moses, uh, any comment? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, today God uh, <clears throat> God remind me that uh, He called me for a mission me mm. for a mission mm. and uh, he will do every everything for mm. me to fulfill uh, that mission mm. uh, all the circumstances and uh, situation that I go through mm. is one of those that God is uh, putting on my way mm. to help me in fulfilling my mission mm. whether it is whether it is a good time all this situation is uh, God's leadership Mm. In order to find mm. uh, like Paul, Paul really understood God's mm. leadership in his life. Mm. So he was not, but mm. uh, to be shepherds in mm. a bad situation, mm. and also he challenges all mm. the situation to give God's glory, and uh, mm. he interpreted all the situation mm. like uh, you know a very good opportunity for. Mm preaching the gospel mm. and uh, the strong belief that mm. uh, in all situations the gospel mm. is not shared. Mm. So this is a bit uh, uh, to me today mm. to view all the situation, all the uh, suffering that we're going through mm. as a God's opportunity mm. uh, to feel, fulfill that mission. This yeah. day we are praying with us uh, South South Sudan mm. uh, mission to send missionaries to Chad and Central Africa, mm. and these two countries are boiling. A lot of problem is there. Mm. So uh, I think that way, that situation in Central Africa that God is putting ahead of us uh, for for us to fulfill God's mission in that. So mm -hmm. it's really encouragement, and mm -hmm. uh, I will encourage our, our leaders and shepherds mm -hmm. uh, uh, through this today mm -hmm. to to go to Rome. To go mm -hmm. to Rome was taken through through mm -hmm. uh, suffering, mm -hmm. and this suffering is to take his life from Jews, and mm -hmm. also uh, through this suffering, God revealed Himself mm -hmm. to to officers and to prisoners and to people in the islands that he passed through, mm. is help him help him to prepare a, mm. a good place, a house, a house or a certain place mm. to preach the gospel. Mm. So suffering uh, is good for for Christians who are mm. following God because mm. it is one way of leadership. Mm. Thank you. Good. Wow. Good comment, yeah. Mm. Even in the prison, Paul made a history. History, yeah. With boldness 
and without hindrance. Yeah. Uh, it's very active. Yes, uh, Mr. Monica? Yes. Uh, Shepherd Moyo also said, uh, send missionaries to where? The line was not connected, so I couldn't hear. Central Africa? Dr. Oye Moses, which country you did you mention? Central Africa and Shad. Shad? Shad, Shad, and Chad. 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 Oh, can you put it in your chat? Chad. Chad. Oh. Yeah, the southern a... area of Sudan is Chad. 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 Yeah, northern part, northern part of Sudan is Egypt. Southern part is Chad. Yeah, uh, and southern part is Congo. So, okay, I will. Congo. We will, yeah, near Congo. Yeah. Mm. Chad is yeah, on the Libya. Below Libya. Mm. So from Egypt, uh, you went back to Chad. Chad is. No, yet we, we are praying to send missionary there. Oh, from Egypt. From South Sudan. South, South Sudan. Sudan. Mm. South Sudan. Okay. Charlie. Mm. Good. So Good. you are staying to... where nowadays? Nowadays I come to South Sudan. Mm. Oh, no more in Egypt. Yeah, it was no in Egypt uh, three weeks ago. Mm. Oh, three weeks ago you moved. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Uh, the situation was very difficult in the early Christian church. Uh, Three hundred years later, uh, Roman Empire emperors proclaimed uh, Christianity as their public uh, uh, religion. Yeah? So there was a big church. Uh, at the time, in order to be promoted, they should be Christians. So the church was flooded with people, yeah, to be friendly with bishop or yeah, and royal families, yeah. The property uh, was more and more, and the churches became richer and richer, but. Uh, they were losing, yeah. Spirit is a problem. Mm. So later, the medieval, uh, mm, Catholic churches degenerated. We know that. Uh, so, uh, hardship and persecution is not uh, difficult. Is is hard, but it can be. Uh, good situation for the believers to uh, keep their faith. Yeah. So we uh, should not be uh, frustrated in the hard situation. In any situation, we have to work hard and preach the gospel with the boldness without hindrance. Then our uh, ministry can advance. Depends. Yeah. Our general say what? Any comment? Um, I just really like the the part where um, when Paul advanced the kingdom of God, mm. and and so so do missionaries from the past and now. Mm. So yeah, I really like that part. Mm. That to, to advance the kingdom, the mm. the the gospel. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay, let's be let's enjoy suffering and hardship. Yeah. <laughs> I I wanna um um share about a person. Mm. She's a hairdresser. I know. Um, she's a. I can see she's a, at my age, but she's very passionate. Mm. For a while, she wasn't a 
believer, I don't think. And then she met Jesus. And then she became very, you know, really crazy about Jesus. She, mm. so, you know, and, and her husband doesn't have a job. I think he lost a job. So mm. she has to do this, uh, you know, the hair, hairdressing job. Mm. Uh, so she was doing really like a poor, uh, you know, she, she's very good at hairdresser, mm. you know, so many people come to her. So every day she has about 20, 30 and she preached gospel to mm. them. Mm. So, <laughs> so even to the existing Christians, she really preached with the spirit. Mm. So they really hear like a newly, you know, mm. Mm. so uh, yeah, so I learned from her a lot, her passion um, and her spirit. And mm. then actually many people converted by mm. her just to mm. preaching just for like a 20 minute, 30 minutes haircut. But she was able to give, you know, she she used this opportunity to preach the gospel. Mm. Um, and then later on, they got really some hardship financially. And then they had to go back to Korea, mm. but the church the, uh, really recognized, acknowledged her work. Mm. So they helped her a lot. Mm. So I think, yeah, yeah, it's really a matter of uh, your heart then mm. situation. Mm. Um, I'm ready to welcome anybody who come to our house and preach, but I don't know how. <laughs> how make people to come to <laughs> I'm ready <laughs> in our Tantok Pam please introduce your <laughs> ministry or anything mm -hmm. and we go there and pray for Dembo ministry <laughs> wow it's a hairdresser it's a good job they cannot move they have to listen to the message <laughs> for 20 minutes <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job. <laughs> Maybe uh, I suggest that you invite uh, yourself to home, <laughs> to, to, to the uh, friend, or, and then invite them to your home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. Wow, we had a good time. Thank God for blessing our Bible study. We studied uh, Acts chapter 1 through 20. Eight, we learned Paul's uh, evangelism uh, spirit. Yeah, let's apply uh, to our mission field. Okay, good. Two weeks later, next week they will vacation because of Thanksgiving Day in Korea. So yeah, uh, um, October, uh, October sixth. Yeah, in Korea. Uh, We'll study the book of Ezra. Ezra. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Isaac Kim, would you pray for us? Heavenly Father, thank you for blessing our study, X uh, study. Uh, thank you for teaching us uh, Apostle Paul's uh, spirit to mm. see the good news mm. and salvation is spreading all over the world and <clears throat> God's hope mm. and uh, <clears throat> the salvation work is uh, might, mightily working uh, according to your God's good purpose. Mm. Uh, the word of God uh, cannot be uh, restrained. It should be proclaimed and uh, the world must be uh, uh, the people in the mm. world should hear the good mm. news mm. of Jesus. Mm. Lord, thank you for uh, using uh, your servants and especially uh, Pastor Nehemiah to bring this good news of Jesus and the gospel spirit, Lord. And as we also study the book of Ezra and your spirit may be with us and you may learn um, uh, good news of Jesus mm. and the uh, wonderful mm. uh, witness of mm. uh, the gospel, mm. Lord. So uh, thank you and 
uh, they will uh, they are all your servants mm. will, uh, serve uh, your flag of God mm. and wonderful life-giving work maybe mm. this day. Mm. So I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Thank God you. bless you. <laughs> See you next week. Yeah.